the lady by Teresia Reynolds, which is me. She had a surprise that drew men from her thighs to her eyes. She was wise. No wonder pistons and hummers always came under. Second place to this lady of grace. Marvelous, effervescent, the very essence of dignity. Pretty, legally on point. Smoky worship filled the room like a joint. That's that Shekinah. Give him silver from the refiner. Massive grace and praise to bind the enemy hands and feet. To mention her name meant the devil's defeat. But loneliness made her weak. Love sick and attention starved, she started to creep, made concessions on her worship, lowered her standards, bowed her knees, all that her friends and partners might be pleased. And in came the advisors. Let's not offend. Ministry is booming, so let some other come in. Little mixture in the decorations and the fixtures. A little liquor get the spirits in quicker, bigger, booming now, set for stratosphere like power. But she was lonely. Only at night. Only when she was still. And only now that the worship had grown too weak to feel the empty and dark places of her soul. Only a little. Cause she was only a little out of control. Now truth be told, he had been eyeing her since day one, but she was marked by the father for his son, and now she was a few degrees of separation, and he had been patient in waiting. All he needed was the door cracked, and she was wide, so he walked down the middle center, eye wide, smiled like a crocodile. He grinned and flipped and presented himself in a trip. Let me take you around the world, cause only a grown man can make a woman out of little girls. Only a grown man can make a woman out of little girls. Mm. He had the world's worth, built an empire called Securities Investment Network. Securities Investment Network. Had this charm to disarm, so she was not alarmed by the changes he aimed at, always different, and was gifted with the way he would flip it. Could sing songs and hymns, and nobody knew the word like him. His view was always new. Justification sounded like revelations as he took every occasion to open her mind. Saints started calling her blind, and their complaints were taken as criticisms, legalism, and religion, and she would not be bound by that self-righteous sin. But she was unaware that license had set in. There were no limits, no boundaries, because they saw increase in the ministry, donations. God was doing amazing things. Con connections and rings were extended. Progenies were offended as a, a blended family was extended with a new culture. More of his people entered like vultures, wolves among the sheep. The agendas were no longer discreet. Her children smelled defeat. Some stayed on their feet and kept the good fight. A few lost their sight, dazed, disoriented, and slighted when the temptation came to rape the lady. They couldn't fight it. And he was delighted. Her flight, it was black hawk down with no rescue. Who was left to? Those who were faithful had fled from the rules and tombs were popping up like estates. The lady had lost her posterity and her face. The children she reared either pimped her, dismissed her, or distanced themselves. And all her wisdom lay scattered and hidden on shelves. He taunted, I never wanted you anyway. I did it to get to him. You're only valuable as a seraphim. His love ravaged her beauty till she had no integrity, no credibility, and all she did was futility. Now sabotaged and seemingly abandoned, crash landed, lost and empty handed. Only now could she see all the devil had his hand in, broken and repented. The woes of her soul welled out of control and the sorrow rattled the trinkets that became chains. That all had been gain was the bane of her vain pursuits. She had lost her wings and her roots. But who could give it back again? 
And who could be the head she would need now that her body was so weak? She was still bound hands and feet until he, yes, he came and took a seat. This was a different he from the former. They were similarities, but so much warmer. Like the sun at full strength and stronger. All struck by this adorner, he took the chains and borne the burdens with kingly dignity. The like of which she had only seen in the father. He never mentioned the indiscretions. But he called the true children back to the essence of what she had been. And built the lost ones back up again. He stood as a brother and a friend. She had desired to be a bride, but so many others had eyed him with more worthy glances. She felt her previous state had destroyed her chances. Romances, not for a lady like me. And he, he as if he heard her heart said, romance is a perfect place to start. Behold, I make all things new, even what should have been between me and you. He and the lady embraced, returned to her proper place in the arms of her intended lover living in his grace. The story of the lady is ended with a verse. The lady is not just a lady. She is us, the church.